Assalamu alaikum. Hi everybody. In this video, I want to show you some advantages of my CDI module compared to a typical 12 volt ignition system. I have shown you this uh, picture before in my previous video. Here we can see the uh, 12 volt system and we see the uh, charging time of this 12 volt uh, ignition system. This works fine um, at low RPM, low engine RPM. Okay, if the uh, RPM is higher, the uh, pulse the pulses are getting closer together and we will have problem with the uh, um, ignition coil charging because the uh, charging time is uh, also uh, getting uh, smaller. Okay, we can see here the uh, CDI system because of the uh, voltage is much higher than the uh, standard 12 volt system we need only um, a little much less time than the uh, 12 volt system so if we um, increase the RPM, the, en the engine RPM, the pulse is still there. We don't have problem with the uh, um, too little time to charge the uh, ignition coil. Okay, just by looking at this picture, we see already two advantages of the uh, CDI system. First is the uh, ignition coil will not get hot if the engine is running at low RPM for a long time and at high RPM we don't have any problem with the uh, charging time. Okay, now I'm going to show you my setup. Here is my igniter or interrupter. This is uh, sends the signal to the CDI and also uh, if we don't use CDI, this circuit is a normal 12 volt ignition system. Okay, it is a transistor controlled ignition. I use MOSFET for the uh, switching uh, transistor and here I have my power supply here is uh, my CDI module and over here we have two identical ignition coils each coil is connected to a spark plug and I will show you the uh, spark cap okay this is the uh, spark cap okay the uh, right hand side uh, ignition coil is connected directly to this igniter so the right hand side coil is a normal 12 volt uh, ignition system and the uh, left hand side 
coil is connected to the CDI. Okay. Now I'm going to show you first the uh, spark intensity of both systems because uh, a car mechanic um, told me that my CDI module uh, doesn't have any advantage over normal 12 volt ignition system because he uh, didn't see that the uh, spark is uh, stronger or brighter what he did was just uh, unplug the uh, ignition wire from the uh, uh, distributor and then uh, put the uh, cable end near the uh, ground, engine ground. Okay, now I'm going to show you first both system, I mean first the uh, 12 volt system and then the uh, CDI and we can see that at low RPM you don't see you hardly see any difference okay now I'm going to turn on the uh, igniter okay now I'm going to connect the uh, CDI module and turn it on okay so it is not much brighter now I'm going to connect again the uh, normal 12 volt ignition system and I'm going to show you the uh, input power here we can see the voltage and the uh, current and I'm going to turn on the normal 12 volt ignition system and we can see the uh, RPM what is the input current at low RPM and then what is the input current at high RPM okay now I'm going to turn this on now the input current is uh, 1.7 amps at maximum. I'm going to increase the RPM. Here we have 3000 RPM and the current is lower. This is at maximum. The current is only seven zero point seven amps. Again, one point seven maximum RPM zero point seven amps. Okay. Again, okay. Now I'm going to turn this off and then connect the uh, CDI module.
and then turn this on again Okay. You can see about 0.7 amps at the lowest RPM. Now we have 3000 RPM and the input current is 2 amps. Now we have maximum RPM and the input current is 3 amps. Again, lowest RPM 0 0.6, 0 0.7 amps. at the uh, max maximum RPM about 3 amps okay now I'm going to connect these capacitors. I'm going to use these capacitors to simulate the uh, condition in combustion chamber so that we can see the actual or close to actual situation in combustion chamber. Okay, first I'm going to connect this to the uh, normal 12 volt um, ignition. Okay. Now I'm turning on the ignition. Now we have lowest RPM. This is the highest RPM. You don't see any spark. I'm going to lower the frequency. The uh, microcontroller inside of this box doesn't like the uh, high voltage feedback from the ignition coil that's why it was uh, shut down okay again lowest rpm oh this is the lowest rpm maximum we don't see any spark High 
highest RPM. Lowest RPM. Again, increase the uh, RPM. Nothing. This is the uh, maximum RPM. Okay. Now I'm going to connect the uh, EDI module. Okay. Increase the RPM. Oh, sorry. I have to connect this one first. Okay. Now, again, turn on the igniter. Set to the maximum. Okay, I'm going to show you my whole setup. Okay, I think that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next video, bye bye.